Kwabulo Primary School in Nyali constituency, Mombasa County, towers above its public peers. The school was constructed by the CDM right from the start, whereby we, we have so far benefited from all those classrooms. The National Government Constituency Development Fund, NGCDF, has facilitated the giant leap at Kwabulo, making it stand taller than its former self and even rival more established private schools. When this school was started, most of these private schools, they came to complain that you are taking away their lands. The school received over 43 million shillings, which has been used to construct a multi-purpose story building that features 12 classrooms, an administration block, and the installation of various amenities. The facility's enhancement comprises 200 desks, eight toilets with disability-friendly ramps, a borehole, water tanks, and office furniture. An outer perimeter wall has also been constructed. In Nairobi County, Komarok Comprehensive School in Embakasi Central received 126 million shillings from the NGCDF, which was supplemented by an additional 18 million shillings donation from President William Ruto. NGCDF was able to construct 42 classes and 72 toilets for the learners, six for the disabled people, and we really thank them. The first thing that they did when the school was opened, we received 997 desks, which has been a great help in helping the parents who are admitting their children here, finding a school that is already built and has a ready desk for occupation. The school has enrolled over 4,000 learners, some of whom shifted from congested schools in the neighborhood. The quality of the class are the best, they are spacious, they are modern, and they are good enough. It has helped this community so much because the few schools that were here, the seven primary schools, they were so congested. So we decongested those schools. The transformative story of the National Government Constituency Development Fund runs across counties. St. Paul's Shimanyiro Comprehensive School, located in Kolomani constituency in Kakamega County, is blooming courtesy of the first lift facilitated by the NGCDF. NGCDF has carried out a number of projects in the school and that is why it is looking as smart as you've seen. We have the classes, a good number of classes. We are not having stress even right now that we have the JSS in place. We have a good number of classes. Due to this, Shimanyiro has been doing very well academically. Last year's exam, we scored 290 marks. We just lost Kidogo to, to be in 300 bracket, yet the school has the largest population. Most of those children have been taken again by the CDF. They have been the, those who are vulnerable have been taken to various schools, including the day schools where the children at least we have had 100% transition. Elsewhere in Nakuru County, Mushiringiri Primary School, located in Naivasha constituency, has a loud positive story to tell about its journey with the NGCDF. Classes that were once clouded by dust now shine with modern floor tiles. Learners who had to walk up to seven kilometers to school now quench their thirst for an education at the nearby Mushiringiri Primary School. The classes have been built in a modern way. Uh, they have tiles around and uh, it, this is not a, a common thing around here, being a remote area. These uh, renovations have brought a lot of impact to the pupils because they have a, a, a place where they are comfortable. And this one has really brought about the improvement of the school. We can see a change and a very great change to our school in that uh, the performance has risen, the population is, is still increasing and we are very grateful about it. The fund has also fixed leaking roofs, catered for water harvesting facilities, energy saving stoves, as well as pit latrines.
Still in Nakuru County, Kiptenden Primary School in Nakuru Town West constituency is up and running. The NGCDF came to the rescue of the school after strong winds blew off some roofs. With the CDF, the school has gotten a support of 2.79 million, that is 2 million 790,000 from the CDF, which has done renovation of five classes and it has done some impact in our institution to increase the learners from 283 to 546. Some schools here were not able to attain or to have the GSS. But now, since we have one here, and we have a good classroom and good environment, they are all coming to, to register here. Like the new classes which were constructed by CDF, they provided with lockers and chairs, which we never had, that is eight of them, that is 40 per class. To the part of influx, Similar praises of the impact of the fund are rising from the hilly sides of Kisi County. Ibeno Mission Primary School, located in Yaribari Church constituency, is bustling in glory. When the school started, we had uh, mud world classes because it is the parents who are doing everything. But later on, the parents requested CDF through our leaders. In conjunction with the parents, we had the current classes. And then later on, we moved to the story building that is behind me. The story building, so far, we have received around 17 million. The 17 million shillings fund from the NGCDF has facilitated interventions which have significantly improved the school's infrastructure and learning environment, leading to increased enrollment and improved performance. I am the CDF because if you are here, you will be able to get here. I am the project. The CDF has been able to get here. It has attracted a lot of people. The people who are around, if you go to them now, they will tell you this is the school they like. And this is why there are so many people here. At Gadudi Primary and Junior School in Tetu constituency in Nyeri County, there was a huge gap in laboratory facilities. NGCDF has been supporting the school's infrastructure development, including the renovation of a classroom into a junior secondary school laboratory at a cost of 1.5 million shillings and the construction of a kitchen and other classrooms. The laboratory was reading in our priority because uh, before we had our own, we used to use our neighboring secondary school laboratory and uh, it is quite disruptive because the learners have to prepare to leave five minutes before the lesson and leave maybe five minutes uh, before the lesson ends because also the secondary section would be requiring to use the same laboratory. The other main challenge was using their equipment and uh, facilities. You know, when you are using the lab items, like the runners could like break the beakers, break those things are very sensitive. So you have to pay or uh, you know you offend someone. But now uh, we are very happy because we have our own and we are using our laboratory. It is functional, we are using it and our learners are quite comfortable. Digwini Primary School, established in 2019, is one of the youngest in Kikuyu constituency, Kiambu County. It could not have come at a better time to save learners from scouting for schools that were far and wide apart and worse off, even congested. The NGCDF Kikuyu, they bought the land in the year 2018. So they started constructing the class because there was dire need for the learners to have a space where they could come and study because they were really suffering. They had long distances to, to, to travel to, so that they can get education. NGCDF Kikuyu has been making two, two classes per every financial year. So, so far now we have nine classes. The cost of the NGCDF projects at the school from 2018 to 2023 is amounting to over 31 million shillings, which include the purchase of land, construction of classrooms, leveling of the play field, partial fencing of the school, and water harvesting facilities. Katalel Primary School in Keio North constituency, Elgeo Marakwet County, is another beneficiary of NGCDF. Total land that is occupied by the school 
is 2.7 acres. Total cost for the land so far that we, are, we, we, we have is about 3 million, which was totally supported by NGCTF KNO. For the financial year 2022 2023, we received a total of 2 million for the administration block, which we are currently occupying. The school opened its doors for the first intake in 2016, aiming to provide accessible and quality education to children from marginalized communities along the borders of Elgeo Marraquet and Wasengishu counties. NGCDF has invested up to 12 million shillings in land, 8 classrooms, 12 door latrines, administration block and water tanks in Catalan Primary School. All those amenities being introduced, we can have a digital hub whereby digital literacy can now not only be introduced and, uh, uh, and extended in the school, but also to the local community. So there's still a lot of work to be done, and we are looking forward to partner with the national government CDF to ensure that it is done and it continues to get done. Now we are moving to grade nine next year. So we still also request for the assistance from the CDF. We do not also have the laboratories. We don't have the library, so we still also request for the same. Kando na usaidi si timepata kwa CDF. I wanja yetu ni kidogo sana na vile iko ata watoto waona na first mad pa kuchesa. The the service itself is very rough. Watoto wakijaribu kuchesa wana anguka anguka because it has not been level. Na wasasi wangu mtendelea kama tungeweke wa wall perimeter wall wa sababu. Hata tukitaka kupanda miti, eh, kondo kutoka kwa majirani, wanaingia kwa shule, wanaharibu. So kama tungeitengewa eh, perimeter wall na good gate, eh, itakuwa mfuri sana kwa wasasi. We have the challenge of the classrooms, they are not enough. Other rooms are still not uh, well upgraded to the status of a good school. So the floors are not done, the roof are leaking. Our request to the NGC of Tetu constituency, if they get more funding, is that they prioritize this school being one of the good, the best performing, so that we can be able to accommodate the students that come to this school. NGCDF, Maendeleo Kwawote.